Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today I'm going to be planning the week of January 18th in my memory planner. This is an RSL A5 wide cloud planner and this is the rose quartz color. I do not have a setup for this done yet. I am still catching up on some stuff from last year, etc. But I will uh, have a setup soon and I will link that and, and do a video flipping through that um, when that is ready. And I am going to be using this kit from Gilded Press. This is from last spring when like the home kits were getting really popular. It's called Tidy Up and I am so excited to be using this kit. It's super, super cute. It's got hollow foil. And the reason that I am using it for this week is this is the week that our construction was officially 100% finished. So that's really exciting. Honestly, since the end of December, they had just been like working sometimes to finish up a little things while some last materials came in. But this is the week that we were officially closed out, 100% done, feels so good. And we obviously moved a bunch of like furniture around, did some more unpacking and all kinds of stuff this week uh, as that was all finished up. So I thought that this was just the perfect kit to use this week. Um, and yeah, these are the full boxes and you do get nine. Uh, so you can skip one and I actually may skip this one although it's, uh, I don't I just don't love that quote to be honest but um, I may use it we'll see what happens anyway um, we have this really cute bottom washi and it is split washi um, I don't love these date covers so I do have some other ones pulled out but I just really love the vibes of this kit so cute love the colors I feel like it's perfect this would have been perfect in spring but it's also perfect for winter you do get like a hexagon cover I am obviously using crest press inserts not um, not iron cauldron inserts, so I don't have to worry about any silly hexagons or any whiteout. So good. But anyway, that is the four page format of the kit. I'm going to pull out these pages and just jump in. So since this was the last week of construction, I am mostly just going to talk about the construction and all of the project, not just what happened this week, um, but just the whole construction process in general. And uh, you can check out my Instagram highlights. I have like a house remodel uh, category saved where you can see pictures from of like everything we did and how it was at the beginning to how it was at the end. And it's really cool to watch. I actually sometimes just watch it because I, I love looking at it and seeing like it's so especially the parts where there were like huge changes like we refinished the upstairs which was like an open loft before and uh, seeing like the difference between where it started and what it looks like now it's like insane and living through it you know it, it's so gradual but when you see it the pictures the before and after pictures it's just really cool to see so anyway if you want to check that out um at my crafty at my crafty plans on instagram but yeah, anyway, before I talk more about that, so this week was, I accidentally started planning the week of the 18th, but uh, the week, we actually finished construction the week before that on the week of the 11th, and then after I realized I had done that, I was so angry, uh, so I actually broke out the undo, not on camera, I did this off camera, but busted out the undo and redid, moved all of the pre-planning stuff from the spread back a week, replace the date dots on the date covers, and then planned on the week. So you'll see that jump back to the week of the 11th when I get to the day by day. But yeah, so anyway, that's what happened. I was really mad at myself. And usually I would just leave it, but just really love this kit and really wanted to use it for the, the week of the construction. And so I went ahead and moved everything and felt like a crazy person for doing it. But I'm really glad I did. Anyway, yeah, so we bought this house. Uh, we actually made an offer on the house, this, this house back in January so like a year ago and we didn't end up making settlement until the end of April and we didn't end up moving in until the end of October so this has been a really long process we did a huge construction proje uh, project we bought the house with the intention of remodeling and we actually only really looked at houses that needed like pretty massive remodeling work so just what we decided we want to do when we were moving in this area um, and there's like a lot of great homes that need a bit of work and we were able to find the, like the perfect place for us it was like the right size it had really good bones and it already had a finished kitchen that had been redone recently and we really liked the kitchen and that was a really great thing we weren't sure that we weren't like planning on being able to find that but that really like took us over the edge of this house because if you don't know kitchens are kind of the most expensive part of a remodel so we were able to do lots of other cool things because we didn't have to worry about the kitchen was already done so we did like mostly like a polishing up of the downstairs like taking out some of the dated elements and like smoothing things but mostly like cosmetic and then most of the structural work went on into the upstairs which was like an open loft space before have like all one big room and like a and like a tiny bathroom and just like kind of 
uh, an old attic-y type space. We f- finished all of the attic space. We redid the whole upstairs and converted it into like a master suite with an office. So we did put in a master bathroom, which is my favorite part. We have this gorgeous tub and like this amazing shower with the body sprays. We built a bedroom, a master closet, and um, the, and my new office space, which is where I'm sitting now. And I absolutely love it. Everything turned out so amazing. Definitely, if you haven't seen the highlights um, on my Instagram, definitely check that out because it's just... Anyway, I mean, I super love it, not to be like so braggy, but I am so happy and I get really excited when I see it and when I talk about it. And it's so, it feels so good to have the construction done and be like all settled in and everything now. But yeah, anyway, so on Monday, I had some work that I was doing. I was working on like two, pro- uh, like my regular thing and then like a couple of other smaller projects at this point. So I just did a bunch of work on Monday and then I was just like pretty sleepy. So I did just read in the afternoon and in the evening. Um, and then we were watching Treadstone on TV, which is like the Jason Bourne TV show, uh, which we never actually finished and we haven't caught up on. We started watching it and then kind of gave up, which happens a lot, I feel like, with TV shows with us. Um, and then I also took a bath that night and then the baby actually slept through the night, which like she's been really hit or miss and now she's getting a tooth and it's like been really missy again but that night she marked she slept through the night and I think I just felt like really great the next day because I marked it down and I don't like always mark it down or anything but like when it was like when I slept really well and I didn't go to bed too late the baby slept through the night none of the other kids like woke up or woke up super early so it was just a really good night's sleep (laughs) but yeah anyway then on Tuesday, they came, the workers came, they weren't there on Monday, to finish the carpet in my office finally. So that was like my office was finally, finally done. Um, I'm just like moving in the, moving the stuff around to get the spacing kind of right. Um, but anyway, Tuesday, uh, carpet went in. That was the finishing of the upstairs. There's like a couple of other little things that still had to be done. And then like the last, last thing they did, which was on Friday, I think, was they put the last coat of stain on the stairs because we have wood stairs. And that was like the last thing they did, um, like the very last thing they did in the house. But anyway, so on Tuesday, they came and finished the car- the carpet. And then I had a work call Tuesday during nap time, which I do like... Honestly, I try and do that a lot, but I also like really don't love doing that on Tuesdays and Thursdays because on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have like the top, like my middle kid and my lower younger kid down. So I'd like just don't feel like if I do a bunch of work during nap time, I feel like I don't get a break at all during the day. Um, But sometimes you do what you got to do. Anyway, I also did some more reading and then my husband and I had some drinks that night uh, and I went to bed super, super early. So it was just like a really nice sleepy day um but yeah so like a nice uh day and we were celebrating almost being done with the house we knew it was going to be done this week at that point there was just like so little left we were just feeling good and I was really excited about the office and everything um and then that was like the last major thing like I said besides the stain and so then on Wednesday morning uh, we they actually took the dumpster and the porta potty out of our driveway, which felt so good. Although, like I have to say, I mean, a dumpster is obviously not an attractive thing to have in your driveway, but it is really, really convenient. So, like the week after this was the first week we had done trash day at at our house since we moved in in October, just because we've had like the dumpster there and we they let us just throw our trash in the dumpster. So yeah, anyway, they took the dumpster on Wednesday. So really happy that we can like both fit in the driveway and not block each other in. We can park in the garage now and all of that good stuff. But um, yeah, having a dumpster is pretty convenient, I will say, especially with two kids and diapers. Uh, and then I had a call, a work call, and... Um, And then I did some other work stuff for, like I said, I was working on like a couple different projects at this point. And then on Wednesday, we were watching TV and we were watching Letter Kenny, which is like a really weird show uh, on Hulu. It's a comedy. And I like randomly started watching it. It just like kept showing up on my recommended feed. And then I watched like two episodes and I was like, actually, I think my husband would think this was really funny. So then we just watched them like sometimes periodically, just like a few at a time. It's 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 a you have to have the right sense of humor for it is what I'll say so if it's your thing you're gonna find it really funny and if not you're gonna be like oh my gosh what is this but so that was really we watched that for a little while and just hung out with my husband and stuff and then on Thursday I like super slept in um I don't remember exactly what happened but like I I think I slept into almost eight so this was actually a really good sleep week which is nice because usually they're not uh and then I 
um, oh, it was Thursday, and my son and I built the bookcase for his room. We had been, like, ordering some extra furniture for the kids and, like, different stuff from Wayfair and everything. We still need to buy couches. That's, like, for our living room, a couch. I mean, that's, like, the big thing, but we have been kind of dragging our heels on that. We're not 100% sure what we're going to do, but in the meantime, the kids' rooms are, like, pretty much done at this point, so I built this bookcase for my son's room, and he's, like, uh, about to be three but he was actually like super helpful with building it which is kind of funny um and he was like really excited the kids were so excited about their rooms at this point and they got they all got like we my daughter really wanted like a magnet board for a desk um to, so like she could like put stuff up and she's like really into putting up her art so I but then my son like saw that she had one and then he really had one so I got them for both of their their rooms and like I gave them all of like my journaling cards that are ones that I'm like never going to use and like oh some like other magnets that I'm not going to use and then we made magnets using like some of the seal stickers and some of like my decorative sticky notes from like the Simply Gilded boxes and stuff. And the kids were like so into it. They love it. And they play magnets like all the time now. But yeah, anyway, then I did like a bunch of office stuff and I unpacked the office stuff. And my husband actually had like a Zoom thing that night um, for work, uh, like a retirement thing for somebody. So we, I was actually just hanging out in the office all night, just like unpacking all my stickers, unpacking all my washi, getting everything set up how I wanted it, just, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then on Friday, um, I dropped the kids at school and then I did like a bunch of errands. Like I went to the dry cleaner and the library and just like a bunch of different little things that's right in that like neighborhood right by the school. And then while I was gone, they stained the stairs. Like first they did it first thing in the morning because it takes eight hours to dry. That way, if they did it like right first thing in the morning, we would be able to like get up to our bed at night. So since we had, this was like our first full week sleeping in our bed. So anyway, they did it first thing in the morning and then we just stayed off it all day. And by the time it was bedtime, the stairs were totally, totally dry there was a couple other pieces like in the house that they had to do a little touch up on the stain as well but so yeah that was the last very last thing and then we were officially 100 percent done um and yeah i did a little bit of work that day we ordered from uh chinese food for dinner but not like szechuan chinese so and if you're not familiar it's like the really spicy Chinese where it's like the mouth numbing peppers um, and my husband and I both absolutely love it uh, <laughs> which not everybody does you have to be like really into that spicy stuff we used to go all the time when we lived in New York and we were able to like we weren't in that region when we went to China but we were able to get some of the food there as well um, but yeah so anyway we really like that we hadn't had it in a while it's like one of those things it's like a restaurant that probably wouldn't wouldn't have been on DoorDash except for the pandemic so now and now they are um and it's like kind of downtown but we live pretty close to downtown so we're able to get some DoorDashes from there but anyway so that was really good we just hung out and watched tv on Saturday our power went out uh just like there was like a storm in the area and it it woke up all of the kids at 5 a.m. because everybody's noise machines turned off, which is, I guess, the downside <laughs> to noise machines. And we were like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do with these kids? So we just had breakfast in the car. We drove to McDonald's. We got breakfast for the kids at McDonald's. And then we just drove around, let them eat, and then drove to Starbucks and got Starbucks for us and just drove around for a while. Then we played outside for a little bit. It was pretty warm. Um, we went for a walk and just like I don't know, just hung out and then uh, I did my hair and we, yeah, just we had like a kind of fun Saturday and our power did eventually go back on around like lunchtime, which was f thankfully like one day last year we had lost power for like a week and we had to go stay at my dad's and it was like a whole nightmare. Anyway, then on Sunday I slept in again. Like I said, this was probably the best sleep week I've had in a while and I'm sorry that to, um, and that makes me sad planning that seeing this now uh, I'm speaking it over because this past week has not been a good sleep week. Um, anyway, on Sunday, we had a super productive day. Um, my husband cleaned out the whole garage so that we would be able to park in the garage. We brought the last of the boxes that like we had been waiting until construction was done that were still in the garage. We like unpacked them and brought all the stuff into the house. It was like mostly like China and like fancy, like fancy kitchen stuff that we don't need every day. And then just like a, a few other random things. So we unpacked all of the boxes, all of, we, except for like some old kid stuff that we've like put away and packed like that. We, we've unpacked everything now, which is really exciting. And I finished setting up the office. I finished unpacking all the rest of the boxes. And then we like super cleaned the basement and got that all set up so that we could keep some of like our china and stuff down there. It's not a finished basement, but it does have like some storage and stuff. And like, I don't want to 
keep anything on the floor in case it floods, although it does seem pretty dry down there. So I'm not sure if that'll be a problem, but yeah. Anyway, we got everything in the garage and the basement super tidy. We got everything all unpacked. Like all of the kids' furniture was built at this point. So we were feeling like pretty, pretty complete. I mean, we've still been going forward doing little things like this past weekend, we hung up a bunch of stuff in the kids' rooms, like all their pictures and stuff. But yeah, we're making really great progress on the house. It feels like way more homey and like we're very much way more settled into it and I'm just really happy um so this was the perfect week to use this kit as soon as I just like was going through my kits and I was just like this 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 is what I need um and it's just really exciting to be all finished I'm just obviously filling this all out and then I'm gonna do like a little bit of washi and I don't uh, oh yeah and like little deco silver foil accents but yeah anyway I am just really excited about everything I absolutely love how the office is set up right now and I, I do want to I need to add like a few more decorative elements and we do need to buy like a little bit more furniture for up here because we do want to put like some kind of like futon or sleeper sofa in here which we haven't bought yet but um, I, I do have all my planner stuff set up all my like shelves all my uh stickers all set up and everything's like really organized and clean and it feels really good I did pack that stuff really well so like I packed it kind of how I would unpack it because that room was like my office was really organized at the old house which makes it really easy to unpack unlike the rest of the house which was kind of a nightmare um especially anything that my husband packed which he did so much and like I'm not complaining but he did so much but it was like not organized at all um so it was like really kind of stressful while we were unpacking but fully done and complete at this point so yeah super super happy <laughs> with everything um and I think that that is it Okay, that is everything all finished up. I love how this looks. Super, super cute and so foily. Uh, let me show you what I have left in the kit. I use like almost all of the functional stuff. I do have some of like the washi headers left and washi and like that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I used all of the boxes. I brought in some other stuff for my collection. I think this turned out so cute. Was a really awesome and satisfying week and a really awesome and satisfying week to plan. So that is everything. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and check me out on Instagram at Minecrafty Plans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye!